Today, I'm in beautiful Barcelona, and I'm going to be spending all day eating the best food this city has to offer. From paella, to chocolate and churros, to some bizarre combinations you'd probably never imagine. Smells like chocolate and pork. But first, it's about 9 a.m., and I need a coffee. First bite in Barcelona this morning, looking rather French. A typical morning in Barcelona often begins with a coffee and a small pastry. Oh yeah, it's really good actually. Really very good. Normally I'd be worried that this wouldn't sustain me until lunch, but that's okay. People in Barcelona have two breakfasts. And as luck would have it, that second breakfast involves a bikini and a beer. Although, not the kind of bikini I'm used to. I really want to find a bikini. Not the swimsuit, it's a sandwich. Around the middle of the morning, you can have a, it's like a ham and grilled cheese sandwich with a beer or a juice. So we're on a mission to find a bikini. My criteria for bikini joint was simple. Find a place with a bunch of Catalan guys hanging outside with beers. Here's our bikini, which gets its name apparently from the shape. I'm not going to model it for you. Yeah, that's a ham sandwich. So far, we've spent this morning in the neighborhood of Pueblo No, which is full of lovely tree-lined streets, cool bars and restaurants, and great coffee shops. That bikini definitely left something to be desired, so I had to lift my spirits with a latte and a treat. I am a sucker for red velvet. For lunch, we headed to the beach for a paella restaurant with one of the coolest open kitchens I've ever seen. And no, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that name. Since 1992, it has become the go-to place for arroz on the water in Barcelona. Right from our table, we see the cooks working over a line of paella pans. Using a large burner with a strong flame, they begin by toasting the rice in a pan along with some herbs and spices. Then a delicious broth is added to cook the rice. Later, seafood such as prawns, langoustines, and other shellfish are added to steam over top. We tried the classic seafood paella as well as the arroz negro, which is colored black from squid ink and tastes like the sea. I'm going to offend a lot of people by saying this, but it's very similar to risotto in that it's a short grain rice that's toasted and then cooked in a broth. The main difference is the shape of the pan and the surface area. So you get like this crusty caramelized action going on, like the crunchy part of the lasagna. Wow. That's incredibly good. What do we do with this head? You can do it like the grandfather and suck it out, but you don't have to. That was a good idea. After walking off that delicious lunch, we made our way over to Churreria Les Palmires, where we received the unforgettable hospitality of owner and master artisan Giuseppe. Giuseppe makes us fresh churros by extruding the batter directly into his fryer. He also prepares us porras, which is the thicker kind of churro from the south of Spain, fried together as a big spiral. <laughs> Finally, he prepares us one churro de crema and some delicious thick hot chocolate. But the most valuable thing Giuseppe gave us wasn't the churros and chocolate. It was the wisdom and passion he shared with us after 28 years in this trade. Alright, so let's give this a try. 
I don't know if you could hear that crunch, but it's so delicious. It's probably some kind of egg custard. This is outstanding. Mm. Wow. Before dinner, we paid the obligatory visit to Barcelona's most famous market, La Boqueria. And rarely have I ever experienced a place quite so vibrant. Vendors here offer locals and tourists almost any product imaginable. We tried some fried octopus, some fresh coconut, and of course, hamon. So I heard a story about why hamon and pork is so popular in Spain. During the Inquisition, apparently, when the Catholics were converting everybody, one of the ways they would test you is they would dangle a little uh, hamon in front of you. And if you ate it, you were in the clear, which to me is a no-brainer. One, you get to eat hamon, and two, you don't get tortured to death. That's what I call a win-win. What better way to close out the day than at our favorite restaurant in Barcelona? Remol is a local spot run by a wonderful couple. The wife runs the dining room while the husband cooks some of the best traditional plates in the city. We are served chicken wings, croquettes of many kinds, patatas bravas, and the real showstopper, the octopus and potatoes. And I must stress to you, never in my life have I had such a foodgasmic puree of potatoes. And I've had my fair share of potatoes, not foodgasms. Well, both actually, but. We move on to a dish of pork cheek, chocolate, and fresh berries. Yes, all of those things together. The flavor is subtle. It was definitely there though. Next, we are presented with today's catch of denton, a Mediterranean fish which is simply roasted in the oven over potatoes, onions, and tomatoes. It tastes so familiar too. Very much like home cooking. And if there's one thing I learned from stuffing my face all day in Barcelona, it's that no matter how good something might taste, just like at your grandma's house, it always tastes better when it's served with passion and love.